Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So I recently saw this little device on the Banggood website and thought it'd be worth testing to see if it actually works or has any benefits. Now what this little device is intended to do is transform a high Z input to a 50 ohm output. Now high Z is essentially another name for high impedance. Now I'm not going to go into antenna theories in this video as it's a topic which could be talked about for a month of Sundays. But in a nutshell, the impedance of an antenna changes when its length is changed or the frequency you're trying to receive changes. Now, most modern radios and receivers, including SDRs, expect to see a 50 ohm match on its input. And that is what this device provides, according to its specification. A 0 dB gain powered amplifier is also included on the little board inside, which we will take a look at later in the video. There's also a little rechargeable battery inside, so great if you want to use this portable. It also saves having another cable connected, although it could have been designed to use Bias T, but it doesn't. Now on the high Z input end, we have an SMA input. Now this is where you connect your high impedance antenna. There's also a power switch to turn it on and off. And then there's a little LED which illuminates blue when turned on. On the other end of the device, there's another SMA connector. Now this time it's the converted 50 ohm output, which you would then connect to your radio receiver or SDR. Now I must point out at this moment, you can only receive with this. Do not try transmitting through it. And there's also a USB socket, which is used for charging the internal battery along with an LED indicator to show that the battery is charging. Now, according to the specs, the internal battery should last for at least 24 hours on a single charge. Now, surprisingly, the frequency bandwidth of this device is from 1 hertz all the way up to 300 megahertz. But today's test, I'll be testing the use on the HF bands. Now, there's probably many ways of testing this device. My test involves the use of an RSPDX from SDR Play as the receiver, and then two lengths of antenna wire, both at the same length, at around 11 meters each. Now, one is connected directly to the center pin of port A, and the second antenna is connected to the center pin of the conversion device, with then a small 50 ohm coax patch cable going to port B of the SDR receiver. Now, on port C, I've just got connected my N fed half wave antenna and it's just there as a reference for me. The two wires go out of the window and tied off to the fence at the end of the garden with some paracord. Now this is just one of many tests that I could have performed with this device, and I'm sure some of you will have better ideas. So feel free to comment below on what you would do to test this device. Now let's take a look on the SDR software and switch between antennas. Obviously, as port B has the impedance converter with an inbuilt preamp, the signal levels will be stronger, amplifying the signal and the noise floor. So when we're looking at port B, we really want to be observing the signal to noise ratio, as well as that signal strength. I knew it was taking off. Inside the ministry, officials are sending confidential memos to each other. This new disease could have, quote, severe repercussions for the export trade, says one memo, and possibly also for humans. It's for these reasons, says the author, I have classified this document confidential. But despite the secrecy, the men at the ministry knew they had to do something. No, no, no. So I, I spoke to Tony uh, on here, uh, on 40 metres on right. Might be Friday or might be Saturday, and Tony's got a very similar antenna to mine. Uh, Tony's got power, but he's got something very similar. Uh, and I'll change them off and look into the future. Ну что ты слабо? Ну давайте сейчас. Ну мне не хочется эти наушники одевать. Ну что-то слабенько. Так, давайте, ну что погромче. Сейчас слабо, не знаю. Ну я Роман знак три дня щука двадцать прям. Roman Znak 3, Dima Šuka, I am Radio 6, Pavel, Anna Tamara. Ah, Roman 6, P.A.T., Abdullah, I welcome you. Why are you so slow, Abdullah? What happened? Ah, it's not that slow, it's slow. 7, 5, 7, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5
Whiskey, you call Whiskey to Quebec, Quebec, you have a nine. Thank you for you to you. Golf Mike 7. Church Mike 7, Alpha Whiskey, Kilowatt, you have a nine. Thanks a lot, Stevano. Five nine, Roger. Okay, ciao, ciao. You're there now. Ciao, ciao. Bravo, Lima. Charlie one, Charlie one, Charlie one. Go ahead. Ciao, ciao. La prossima, sette tre. CQ20, CQ20, Italia, Zelanda 5, Sabini, Maiche, Golfe, Teatri, Italiani, Arena di Taormina, CQ20. Italia, CQ1, Yenchi, Mattia. Udine, Roma, Roma, Antonio, Antonio, buongiorno, 5, 9, 1, Antonio. Ok, Night Alpha 3, Alpha, Charlie, Juliet, now I got it. Charlie Juliet, now I got it, Igor. Bravo. Uh, radio Charlie 7. You're also going by now, thank you. Uh, thank you to Tango Kilo. Delta Hood, Delta 3, Tango Kilo. Yeah, get this one here. I'll keep this one right. So it kind of works, and at a cost of just over 10 UK pounds, I think it's a cool little device to have in your arsenal of SDR gear. Now I did try using this device with one or two of those donut shape adjustable loop antennas, but in my opinion they didn't work as well as a length of wire just hanging out the window. So some of you were pleased to know that I took it apart to take a look inside. Now here we can see the small rechargeable battery connected to the main board. On the other side of the board, we can see the USB-C connector along with the battery charging chip. And upon closer inspection, we can see a vast amount of wires, those small little through-plated holes running along the 50 ohm matching strip. Now this reminds me of when I was designing the power sensor board I made in a video a few months ago. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of this device and if you have any other ways of testing or even using this in a different way to I did. I'll leave a link down in the description of where I got this from if you want to check it out for yourselves. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe, take care, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.